In this video we're going to solder the breakout board. I've set my um, soldering station at 330 degrees over there and um, I prepared everything to start soldering the breakout board. I personally like to start with the ports here, the small ports. Um, the easiest way to mount them is on the side where they are marked by the rectangle and then here there is the um, opening and the opening you align it with the a little rectangle inside there. So to solder a port I just um, put both of them on there and make sure that they are um, you mount them in mirror fashion like this. Now this thing stays on the table like that that makes it easy to start um, adding lead or tin. This is actually lead free. So the way to do this is um, uh, actually first clean the iron, the soldering iron. Okay now it's nice and shiny the tip um, and then I like to uh, heat it for five seconds one two three four five then add this stuff and then you get a nice cone of solder okay there we go one two three four five and add it nice so it's nice and fluid one two, three four five There we go, nice and fluid again. I lost one. I probably better um, connect at least one of them here. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, and then add. Okay, I think I've done it right. So the openings are facing each other and um, all pins are connected. Next, we're going to solder or clean the iron and solder the little jumpers here. Um, well, for normal operation, it's mostly important that you solder the 3v3 uh, here, uh, which connects the 3 volts power supply from the spike to the 3 volts in here. And if you're using Mindstorms, you should probably connect the 5 volt voltage in, um, which will connect the 5 volt from the Mindstorms to the VN on that side. So let's solder this. Only the left two pads should be connected like that. Okay, now the left two pads are connected. Clean it up a bit. Okay. Um, if you're feeling adventurous, you can also connect the motor pads, which will uh, link the motor lines between the two spike ports. Um, I do this because I know what I'm doing. I'm not sure what happens if you connect two spike hubs and um, add voltage, and so one spike hub starts to um, <laughs> uh, uh, let, let flow current, or one spike up starts to power another spike up. I don't know what happens, but I'll just be careful and solder these just in case. Mm. So now the motor lines between the two spike ports are connected. Um, be careful now when connecting to a spike or Mindstorm hubs if you have these pads soldered. If you're uh, unsure, leave them 
untouched and leave those soldering pads open, those soldering jumpers open. Okay, next we're going to do the um, grove port. So the grove port goes on like this. If you're unsure about the orientation of the grove port, you can um, grab a grove wire. You can see that uh, the grove wire connects like this and it's got black, which means ground on the right. So um, ground is here like that. So if we want to connect the grove port, let's disconnect it. The opening has to face outward like that so now my ground my black ground wire is aligned with the ground instead of the grove port you can also add a, a four pin um, a header here male or female whatever your choice um, i'm just going to add the grove port now here this is a bit harder because this will fall down so I'm going to um, keep it in place with my finger um, add a little solder on the iron like this glue it in place like that now it's not going anywhere anymore and now I have time to lay it down and connect it well These pins are a bit closer together, so it's a little harder to solder them. This looks good. And then finally, I'll redo the first one. So this is looking uh, real nice. This connects well, so now we have three of the four ports. Then I like to connect the, um, if you don't have uh, Mindstorms EV3 or NXT, you can leave this one out. It'll make your board a bit smaller, but I'm just going to connect it. Um, make sure that the pins are aligned and then it will snap in place. Okay, my pins are in, now I just have to apply a little force to make it snap. I'm going to put this one there. Okay, it has snapped into place, all six pins are true and we can start soldering them. And then finally, I'll put the headers into place. So the headers um, go the other way. Uh, they are the, so when the ports are up, the headers go down. I'll just put the whole thing on the headers and it will be stable on the table like this. And now I can just add solder here on every pin. Everything is nice and fluid and well connected. Um, so this is it. The board is uh, finished and we can start uh, connecting it to robots now.